cloth that the Buddha liked, a weave which caused a crisis in Rome, or one that is so tough to make that it can only be woven by someone who is a math genius. Welcome to the fascinating world of India's handwoven wonders, which are not just pieces of cloth, they are packed with the most fascinating tales. We crisscross through India to tell you more. Our journey starts in the city as old as time. Banaras has been a pilgrim center for thousands of years. But did you know that this city was also famous for its fine cotton? So much so that the Buddha who lived in the 6th century BC had left instructions that after his death, his body should be wrapped in the fine cotton of Banaras. Over time, the fine cotton gave way to an array of silks and brocades. Thanks to its location on the banks of the Ganga and at the heart of trade routes, Banaras became a great center of weaving. Kings and queens would buy their silks from here. And even today, that legacy of weaving continues. Another center famous for its weaves is Paithan, home to the rich Paithani sari. But did you know that looms like this were weaving fine cottons and silks 2000 years ago and packing them off to Rome? Though not much remains of the old city, Paithan was the capital of the Satvahanas, a dynasty that was all-powerful in the Deccan. It is said that so famous was Paithani silks that there was a Roman ship that docked in one of these ports along the west coast of India every day waiting for cloth to be made. Coimbatore has also a great strong Roman connection. You may have heard about the Silk Route, but did you know about the cotton road that passed through continents and oceans and was centered in India? This artist's depiction of the Roman Senate has senators wearing their famous white togas. The togas that Julius Caesar would wear were not in military livery. The fine cotton for these togas came from Coimbatore in present-day Tamil Nadu. In fact, this was a major trading center where cotton grown and woven in the hinterland would be sent to Rome. Fast forward 1800 years and the cotton that was exported became known as Calico after the reigning port of its time, Calicut, in present-day Kerala. There are some weaves that are so tough that they just can't be made by anyone less than a genius. This is Patola of Patan. What makes it unique is the fact that this weave can only be made by someone who is a math whiz. In the Patan Patola, the weft and the warp are separately tied and dyed in geometric patterns that come into their own only when the weave is finally done. A Patan Patola sari can take up to a year to make and costs lakhs of rupees. The Patan Padola has been famous through time. Did you know that it is believed that the art of making the Ikkat went from Patan across the world? What's more, across Southeast Asia, the Patan Padola was so prized that only the royals wore it. Across the breadth of India, we now move to a weave that was described as nothing short of magical. Fine muslin which was as light as the mist. It was on the banks of the Ganga that weavers made the finest muslin. What makes this one of the most prized weaves is that it can be made only when everything is perfect. The right light, the right humidity and the right temperature. As a result, weavers in a place like Kalna in Bengal, where the old muslin is being revived, often have only a small window around dawn to weave the muslin. This means it takes days to make a single meter of muslin cloth. The jamdani detail added on the fine weave here also needs tremendous skill. The result is exquisite. The muslin jamdani from Bengal was so famous that it was declared only Mughal royals would wear it. Later, traders from across Europe came in search for the finest cloth. Go across India and you will find exquisite textiles. Each state and region has its own unique style. 
No wonder then that Mahatma Gandhi used the charkha or the spinning wheel as a symbol for India's independence. Under him, it became a mark of respect for the skills and hard work of the Indian artisans across the remotest corners of India.